I am so excited for this look. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, hey, hey. I know I sound crazy, but you'll see. Hey, hey, hey. Who's on? Hey! Okay, so I'm gonna start out just doing my basic makeup first and then I'll get Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Courtney! Hey, Shiloh! I'm so excited for this look. It's totally awesome. So, I was searching last night for, like, up-and-coming trends. And... <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. And so I figured, let's do a trend. It's kind of going to be a mix of two. And I know I have a lot of girls on here that still have prom coming. So this look actually came from Seventeen Magazine. Hey, 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 Marie. So I'm going to start out doing my basic makeup and then get to the eyes so that way you guys can see it. I'm so excited though. <laughs> Why are you saying that, Courtney? <laughs> hey, was last night fun? I'm sorry I didn't go. I just need to like mark it in my calendar that Thursday is girls night. I feel like I was a bad friend. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, I totally didn't even like. <laughs> Acne be gone. It's amazing. I'm glad you had fun. Sorry I didn't like, I don't know. My mind was not in it yesterday, but I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah, so what I did to get the acne away, this stuff is like my survival guide. Like, if you have any acne whatsoever, so, okay. The more that I use the detoxifying mask, the more my acne is going away. Um, so it's gonna, it pulls everything out first, so that's why my acne is breaking out a little bit more. But the more often that I use it, I'm gonna have no acne like within two weeks. So it's gonna be great. Because <laughs> I use it like every two, three days now. And then this stuff is freaking amazingness. It's a little teeny too, but it works wonders. You don't even need a lot. So, it's great. And I totally put way too much on for underneath my eyes, but that's okay. Totally didn't even realize I was on a commercial. <laughs> you can go to beautywithbrittanydarley.com and go to shop. Um, well, that actually will bring you to the shop button. And then you go to face. And hey, Abby. And then after... 
you go to face, go to concealers, and this one is the Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. So I am using it underneath my eyes as well. I love this stuff though. I'm not sure of the cost, I forgot the cost of it, but that's where you can go to get it for you guys that are interested. I'll send you a message too with the link and everything in it. And what's awesome is if you want, you can use it. Yes, I'll do that. I'll plan it. <laughs> I'll plan to go next Thursday. <laughs> um, if you want though, you can go there and hey Christina get the concealer I'm gonna get to the eyes don't worry you guys yes they it rocks I love it so it took away my bags um I also which I didn't put any primer on totally forgot today that's okay we'll go with it <laughs> I was wondering why I had to use a little bit more than normal. Because I didn't use primer today. Whoopsies. But. The show must go on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use cream foundation today. Because I want to keep it simple. Because I want to get to my eyes. So the look today is like super awesome. It's, I don't know if you guys saw it on my Facebook, but... Okie dokie, text me. <laughs> um, what it's it's kind of like a more subtle look. Definitely a lot more natural than some of the other looks I've done. So I'm just using the cream foundation really quick. Just a little bit on my cheeks and forehead. This way. It's gonna help my oily skin not be so oily for you guys. Now let me do my eyebrows really quick and then we'll get to it. Thank you. I love the hearts and the likes and all those faces that you guys do. <laughs> you guys want to see me contour? I think I'm going to do it. Because why not? This look is so... It's... The look I'm doing today, minus the polka dot part, is simple. So I'm going to get to highlighting and contouring. It'll just help me. And I'm going to use the Sculpting Trio today. Because why not? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You can't forget your chin. 
when you contour, don't forget it. Otherwise, you get this like nasty line. It's not fun to have. I'm getting to it, I promise. Hey, Velvet! Okay. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Okay, so today's look is super, super plain in my eyes compared to like all the colors that I've used before. This one's just like white and silver and a little bit of tan. So that's why I'm highlighting and contouring because I need to make it like stand out more. Let me do my eyebrows really quick and then we'll get to it. I'm so excited. Actually, you know what? Let me, nope, okay, there we go, awesome. So I got this look idea, because I was looking last night, trying to figure out what the heck am I gonna do on my video today? And, I always go on Pinterest to find my looks. That's like my lifesaver, I'm not even kidding you guys. And they were talking that one of the trends for, I don't know if what, see when it was, but one of the spring trends is polka dot eyeliner. Awesome. Which I honestly had never heard of it. I'd seen it a few times, but never heard of it and definitely have never done it. But it looks really awesome and it looks kind of simple. So we shall see how it goes. I know it's a little bit all messy, but whatever. I'll fix it. Don't worry. It's my pencil. It's not sharp enough. So if you guys ever have any looks that you want me to do, definitely message them to me, okay? Because I get bored and run out of looks. <laughs> and you guys are my viewers, so you guys need to be pleased. Okay. Well, I've gotten a few. I still need to get a bright blue. to do one of the looks that I've been wanting to do, but. Eyelashes really quick. Because my eyelashes are like nitpicky. Especially these ones.
So I'm going to be using three different colors today. Ruby, oui, oui, I'm so blind. Just making sure I get the right palettes out, so that way I have the right stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be using my palette 3, my palette 5, and um, my Curious Pigment. So here's palette 3, this one. I'm only going to be using one, maybe two colors out of it, and then Palette 5 is going to help me with the liner. You'll see how. And then the polka dots, I'm using my liquid eyeliner. But I'm going to do the liquid, the liner part last. Just because it's going to help me see the look first. And then going from there, it'll help me be able to line it the way that I want to. So. This look is more on the natural side for me, which is, if you guys watched me before, know that I'm not really a natural looker. <laughs> I always try and do bold looks. So this one is kind of outside of my comfort zone, but I think it's gonna be awesome. Sorry, just laying out my eyeliners here. I mean, pencils, whatever. So that way I use the right ones. Okay. So we're going to start out. I'm just going to use Smitten, which is this beautiful pearlish color. And I'm going to put that just a teeny bit of it just all over my eyes. I love that this look is more of like a pearl color so I think it would be great for weddings or prom it's very simple and very nude and very I like it a lot okay really quick let me conceal that up I need a one. So I'm going to take, I just put Smitten all over my eyes, and I'm going to take Determined, which is this more nude matte, it's a matte color and it's nude. So I'm going to take just my shader brush, just get a teeny bit of it on the tip of it, and put this kind of like in the crease. Now for me, my eyes are super hooded. So, if you have like standard eyes, it's going to be better looking on you, I think, personally, just because you have more lid to play with. I have, see that little teeny bitty bit of lid? Hey, I have to manage, and that's one of the things I've been working on and learning to do, is using my little hooded eyes to my advantage. 
<laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Curious, which is this pearl white color. I love it. And again, I'm just gonna take the shader brush, the shader portion of the shader liner brush. Just get some, dab it on. I always make sure to get the excess off. And then I'm going to put this one right underneath my brows. This is going to really heighten my brows too. Just going to give me a little bit more room to play with, personally. And I'm just about to get to the liner part. So I love this look for weddings and for prom, anything that were like Sweet Sixteen or Quinceanera, definitely a good look. And I'm actually going to go back in. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a little bit of a static, which is this color, and then very lightly because this, I love that all of these are, hey Shady, all of these are like really, really pigmented, so I'm just going to get a little bit of this and put it more in my crease so that way my eye has more definition. That way when I do the liner, it'll stand out just a teeny bit more. There we go. I know you guys are probably like, why in the world is she using the other palette? Where's that coming in now? Just wait though. So I heard, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I heard that one of the new trends that's coming is like a metallic eye. What do you guys think of that? Would you put a metallic eye on? Because it was like this silver color just all over the eyes. I could see the gold. I can't see the silver though. <laughs> would anyone do that? I don't know if I would personally. Okay, here's the hard part. So, I'm gonna start and it is a winged, it's a winged, a winged eyeliner look, but I'm doing it with a pigment too because I just want it to stand out more. So I'm gonna take my liner brush, and I'm gonna take the silver, because we used more whites, so I figured why not use the silver, and get some of this on. Now this silver is like, wow, silvery. It is ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do, Sorry, that was bugging me. I'm gonna take the corner of my eye and just put it right at the end. And you wanna start with a little bit because you can add more but you can't take away. That's the hardest thing for sure. But this is gonna help me where to do the polka dot part. so funny.
Okay, I'm gonna look in my mirror really quick. It's gonna help me. So now, hey Tana, let me go ahead and put it on the other side too, this way it'll be easier for me to just do the dots. The hardest part about this is doing it when one of your eyes doesn't shut. <laughs> Left eye is always the hardest one. Always, always, always. But it somehow always turns out better. Hey, Amberly. This looks better. I don't understand it. It's harder to do, but it looks better. Okay. Cool. You guys ready for the polka dot part? Okay, so I'm going to use my powerful liquid eyeliner. It's like a gray color, but it's like a really dark gray. So that's what color it is. And it's gonna, you'll see why I used the silver because it's gonna help bring it out more. And then I may end up, yeah, I'm probably gonna put more curious on there too. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, 
Let me go ahead and do the other side and then I'm gonna put more up there of the curious and that's gonna make it like stand out a lot more. You know, this is really good too, if you're just learning how to do a winged eyeliner, because you can like connect the dots. <laughs> cool! Does it look good? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hopefully it looks good. <laughs> Watch, this eye is going to be better than this one. <laughs> Just because my left eye is my bad eye. You know the awesome part about this, though? So I texted my boyfriend this morning. I told him what I'm doing. He was like, I've never heard of a polka dot eyeliner. What in the world? You have to send me a picture. That was the coolest moment ever. Because to have a guy support you in a way that, you know, because he wants to see you succeed. You really don't find that very often. And it's pretty awesome that I found it. I love it! Okay, hold on. Gotta clean off my tip. Here we go. I'm gonna put more curious up at the top. Where's the cat? No. Blah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, Autumn. There's the polka dots. Oh, let me make them a little darker on that side. Before I do that. And the cool thing is you can do this with like any color. I've seen people do it with jewels, but I don't have any jewels and I don't feel like gluing my face up. So when Halloween comes around though, I have something planned.
honestly, practice makes perfect. That's seriously all it was. Like three years ago, I didn't know what foundation was, so. Practice makes perfect, that's all I gotta say. It's not the best, but I mean, you live and you learn. That's always been my motto. And you can ask Amberly or anyone really on here. I didn't know anything about makeup ever. I just watched a ton of people and said, <laughs> I watched a ton of people and was like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it too. And I learned to do it. <laughs> I'm actually going to be talking about that today, 3 o'clock today. I'll let you guys know, I, when I started doing these makeup tutorials, I was a nervous wreck, like I would seriously cry before videos because I didn't know what in the world I was doing. I was, I was extremely, extremely nervous and it's not that I was saying that I was bad, it's just I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew in order to get what I wanted and in order to get the things that I need for me and my family and my dreams to come true to move to Florida, hey Josh, I needed to kick my butt, get myself in gear, and learn how the heck to do these things because otherwise I could already tell you my dreams would have never come true. I would have still been in Arizona, mind you I love Arizona, but it was just not home for me. I work with Unique, but my personal brand is Beauty with Brittany Dartley. So, and everything that I use, you can always go to beautywithbrittanydarley.com and see it there, look at it, get more information about it, and you're always welcome to message me too. So if you want, you can message me. And then I'm going to lighten up this right over here. Hey, Evie! So, I'm taking Curious because I want to lighten up the brown a little bit more. I put it a little darker than I had hoped for. I'm going to go right up here. And since this look is like a silvery look, I want to make sure the wing part stands out the most. Just taking some curious and making it almost like a low light for the brown or a highlight for the brown. Blah. For the brown. Yeah, but Autumn, I knew nothing, so don't worry. I mean, seriously, I always tell my girls, if I can do it, you can do it too, because I knew nothing. I knew I had to pay the bills, and the bills were racking up because I was in college at the time, and I was like, okay, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do, right? So I kicked my butt in gear and got it done. <laughs> So I'm going to do a bold lip with this so that it kind of like heightens it all and brings it all together. Let's see, let me do my mascara really quick too. Where are you little mirror? And you guys are more than welcome to share any of my videos too. I've had questions before about that. You're always welcome to share, you're always welcome to like and comment.
I feel like one of the things that you need to be able to be a success is you need to put yourself out there and you need to be really vulnerable. I'm going to talk more about it later, but for you guys that have watched me and seen me grow, and even for those of you that haven't, I'll be the first to tell you I knew nothing. I honestly never expected makeup to be my, like, my way into success, but it found me. So, and there's a reason behind it. You'll hear the story later. Honestly, being vulnerable has what got me and what led me to where I am now. Had I not put myself out there and shared my story as fearful as I was sharing it, there's no way, no way I would have been where I am now. And there's definitely no way I would have moved to Florida either. <laughs> you guys are awesome and if you like the videos that I make you can definitely subscribe right in that corner right over there or if you don't watch it until the end um, in the end there's a little button that's right down here um, or you can go to my profile page and press the follow button and you'll get notifications too Just doing my mascara really quick and then I'm gonna do my lip. Bye lashes now. Because we all know I need them. <laughs> Naturally, I have like nothing. No lashes whatsoever.
And they're all natural. I love it. Hey Kendra! Hey Kaylee! Okay, I'm gonna do my bold lip. Just a minute. Oh, they really need to be cleaned up. There we go. Cool beans. Okay. Look at our eyes. We're done. <laughs> this looks so fun. Okay. Let's do lip snow. Okay, I'm using lip stain because I haven't used them in a long time. Let's see. Which one shall I do? Okay, let's do sultry. Ah, I'm almost out. Actually, you know what? Let's do sappy. Okay. And sappy, I'm gonna put with perky. Sorry. So we have perky a little bit all over and around. Oh, I forgot one important part. Okay. And then I'm going to do sappy. Lip stain. Look, check this out. Oh, spill proof. It's amazing. Hey, 
summer. Let that sit for just a second. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to take a teeny bit of concealer. Look, check this out. It's awesome. Okay, anyways, if you guys love this look or like it, whatever, definitely react down below and comment. If you guys have any other ideas that you'd love for me to do, comment them or message me them. I'd love to get them. And you can always, always, always two things. Follow me, subscribe everywhere. It's at the top of my page, over there in the corner. Sometimes it's down in the comments. And if you love it, share it. Share it. Let everyone else see it. Anyways, love you guys. Bye. I shall see you guys at three. Thank you. <laughs> I'll go ahead and see you guys at three, okay? Bye. <laughs>